Hi folks, I am solving lead code stock 150 questions and that's all you need for your coding interviews. So in this video, we'll be solving double nine four rotting oranges. We are given a M cross N grid where each grid has three values such that zero represents an empty cell, one represents a fresh orange and two represents a rotten orange. And every minute, any fresh orange, which is directionally adjacent becomes rotten and we have to return the minimum number of minutes for every orange to become rotten. And if that is impossible, we can return minus one. Let's understand this better by this example here. After first minute, these two oranges go rotten. So one minute is passed. Now after first minute, these two goes rotten. So this is the second one. After this, this gets rotten. So this is the third one. And after four minute, this is also get rotten and that's what we are supposed to return. So now let's understand on how we can solve this. Let's take this example. So a standard algorithm that may come to your head is by using DFS. But if we will use DFS, what will happen is after uh, let's just say we start from here. Then after first minute, this will get rotten on second one. This will get rotten. Similarly, on third minute, this will for these two will gone on the fourth minute. So it will take four minutes. But what is expected from the question is we have to return the minimum time. So that means after first minute, these two will go rotten on second minute. This will be get rotten either from these or this and this will get rotten from this one. So this is two and on the third minute, this will get rotten. So three and this should be our answer and we will be traversing to every element on this grid that will make our time complexity as O of M cross N. So there is one more edge case where if if it is impossible to turn every orange rotten, then we have to return minus one. For example, this one right here. So this orange will never turn rotten. It's not the adjacent to any of the oranges. So we are going to track the number of fresh oranges we have initially. And by the time our BFS ends, we can see if the count of oranges is not zero. That means there are some oranges which are not rotten. And in that case, we will return minus one. So let's see how we can solve this. 